Is it useful to do an EPQ, which means an extended project qualification related to computer science? Well, any extra thing you might do that demonstrates your aptitude for computer science is a good thing in principle. If you are doing an EPQ in the context of applying for computer science at Cambridge, it's better if it showcases your computer science aptitude than if it shows your enthusiasm for other stuff like ancient manuscripts or biology of cells or any other unrelated topics. Unless you are demonstrating your computing prowess in the course of your exploration of those other topics, for example, because you're, you know, you've written programs that drive artificial intelligence tools to analyze the data or whatever it is. But don't limit yourself to things like this EPQ that are provided by the A-level school framework. Once you've done what you need to top your A-level grades in maths for the maths and physics, or if you prefer maths for the maths and computer science, then if you have time and energy left over, it's probably better to invest it in something like getting a medal in an international Olympiad in mathematics or in physics or informatics or some other science subjects. These international Olympiads are some of the most highly regarded extracurricular indicators of brilliance. They are long established, they are independently evaluated, they put you in a well understood worldwide peer group of outstanding performers, and they have a track record of being good predictors of academic brilliance. Many of the excellent students we get from Eastern Europe or China excel in those international Olympiads. Of course, it may not always be possible to enter such competitions for you, and you may need to have started a few years earlier than the year in which you apply. But if you can, then go for it. Other competitions that involve programming, hackathons, capture the flag challenges for security and so forth are also well worth engaging in. So think beyond what the school program offers you. Outside of competitions, other ways to demonstrate initiative and competence include self-driven projects where you design and build something so long as it's your original work and not something you copied off the internet. For example, building some kind of robot, building an app and releasing it on the App Store and selling a few hundreds or even a few thousand copies of it and so forth. One of the students we once admitted built her own little electronic circuit that lets you play Tetris, and I have a few interviews with her on this channel. And another one wrote his own mini operating system, and then I supervised him for its final year project, which was brilliant. Or I also once saw a YouTube video of someone who built a working computer inside a video game. I was super impressed. I thought it was really cool, even though actually this person was older than he looked and he was not one of our applicants. So that is the kind of stuff that definitely suggests to us that you have a brain, you figured out how to use it creatively, and that we should call you for interview to see what else you're capable of.